Hello friends. In this video, I am gonna walk you through shortcut route from Nubra Valley to Pangong Lake. We all know, conventionally we go to Nubra Valley. Or say, Hoondar in Nubra Valley from Leh. Traversing through Karadung La Pass, the world's highest motorable road. And then to Hoondar, then return back to Leh by the same route. And then, to go to Pangong Lake, we take Kaolong Leh Highway to reach Karu, then, we take left onto Pangong Road as we go, we travel through Chong La Pass. That. But I took a shortcut route from Nubra to Pangong Lake. This is what I am going to show you. This is the starting point. This is a T point. Roads make a shape of T here. Before I take you there, let me tell you certain things to remember. 1. Let me warn you, never take this route in winters. I took this route during October 2nd week, 2019. That's the off season and there is no much of ice on the path. I am fast forwarding most of my video to keep my video short. You can watch full raw version of this video, link is in the description box, navigate. 3. Remember there are hardly any people or vehicles moving in this route. So, be prepared to fix any breakdown of your vehicle. I took Maruti Suzuki or Tiga. Preferably SUV is good. 4. You must start early in the day from Nubra, so that you have enough daytime to make this transit. This journey is around 170 km. It takes at least 6 to 7 hours. Always make sure that your way is clear and you can proceed. It might need you to get out of your vehicle and inspect the path, ascertain its condition then proceed. Please don't mind, I have increased the speed of clips. But you can see, the road is rough. At this point, anyone could go wrong and take wrong route. Remember here, you need to drive through the creek of water, kind of small stream of water. There was a repairing work going on during that time, but now that bridge would have been repaired, Friends, you can see, as we move further, there is a tar road, but it is damaged here and there, maybe because of rain or snowfall. This tar road is gonna disappear soon. We rarely see this kind of bridges further on our way to Pangong. You can see, the path is completely flooded with water. But be careful to inspect the way and then only go ahead. Otherwise you may end up breaking your vehicle. You must be careful for the large stones, which could hit the underside of your vehicle's floor. Sometimes your fuel tank can be damaged. So be very cautious. If there are any large stones right in the middle of path, then come out of your vehicle and push it to one side and make your way cleared of such things. Never be in a hurry. It might cost you heavy, sometimes you may spend couple of days to get any help. You see the road is dry and not much of water, so only I could move forward. Otherwise if it were other season, I could not pass through these roads. We have a stretches of straight good condition roads. It's pleasure to cruise through these roads but be ready to encounter a sudden pits and potholes. On these bridges, please go slow. They might crash at any time. And if that happens, it's problematic to everyone transiting in this path. Salute to Indian Army. Army personnels are always there to help in case of any mis-
you can see the Shok River on our left. It's quite wide and the water is blue, among the mountain ranges, it's mesmerizing to appreciate the beauty of this place. Oh. Here we are descending from the high on mountain bed to lower level of riverbed. Curvy roads. You can see. And further the road is built in the bed of river. It travels right in the middle of riverbed. Since this is off season. The water in the river is low. So the road is dry. Otherwise the blue waters rise above the level of road in rainy and We went off the road and went near the blue waters. One advice, please do not take your vehicle off the road. Here you are tempted to drive in riverbed, full of pebbles and small stones. But mind you, you can get stuck in here. If you are expert, you can do it, but be ready to have any consequences. Water is blue and beautiful. But it's chilling cold. You can't even hold this water in your hand. And the flow of river is robust. Never ever step into the water. This is life-threatening and dangerous act. Don't do that. Always Here you can clearly see the sand of riverbed on the road and the small bushes grown by the side of road. The road is uneven and can't speed up much in this section. Okay. That way, you reach the place called Agam. Here there is a bifurcation of road. One goes to Lei, on the right-hand side. Other goes to Pangong on the left-hand side. So we need to follow left-sided road which leads to Pangong Lake. Agam is just a place, you don't find any house or hut or anything to eat. You need to load yourself with a lot of eatables. And if you are lucky, you could spot these animals. Here starts the real fun. It is the start of bad roads, in fact, there is no road. It is all muddy, gravel path. Yet we can take our vehicle with. In this section, you need to be slow and drive carefully. You see, in this section, there was a road, but it got damaged, since it is on riverbed. I am not speeding up this section of video, so that you have a good idea about the condition of road you are going to encounter, in case you wish to take this path.
This is a long journey. And video is getting too long. So I have divided this journey into three videos, from which you will have better understanding of the route. Please, do watch the continuation of this journey in part 2 and part 3 videos. The link is in the description box below. If you have not subscribed to my channel. Please do subscribe. Please feel free to ask me any queries in comments. I shall promptly reply you. In case you need to contact me, the contact details are in description box. If you like the video, please give thumbs up. And share this video among those who are Himalaya enthusiast. See you in next video. Thank you. Bye.